hate crimes in the district have tripled. And D.C.'s Attorney General Carl Racine says he plans to address it. He was recently elected president of the National Association of Attorneys General. And in that role, he says the opportunity to focus and address those hate crimes is his sole focus. Um, with respect to crime in the District of Columbia, obviously we've got uh, a plethora of problems. Um, and it starts with the easy accessibility of guns, where literally uh, guns are akin to adornments on people's uh, person, like a pair of sunglasses or a belt. And so there's a gun culture that is fascinated with guns. We need to stop and break that culture. As you know, DC has some of the strongest gun laws. But when there are porous laws all around us and there's easy access and money to pay for these guns, including ghost guns, um, then we've got a problem with accessibility. How in this position can you address, one, the concerns that so many black and brown people have about just leaving their home on a daily basis, but then also the more systemic problems that we have as a nation? With respect to the broader culture of racial justice in America, I am very excited about being uh, the president of the National Association of Attorneys General because what I get to do is focus for an entire year on one subject matter. And the subject matter that we're going to focus on is hate. Hate is all about the debasement and the dehumanization of people. And it starts at the beginning of our country. We treated the Native Americans poorly. We dehumanized them, considered them others. We participated in the slave trade and called Africans not human. And that led to a whole host of extraordinary problems. How do we take that to the next level in this next stage of your career and implementing plans that actually stop the gun violence, actually stop the hate-based crimes? And one thing we can easily do is get money, and require local officials to actually collect data around hate crimes and provide all of that data and information to the FBI, which can publish that data every year. Right now, the data and the statistics are porous. We know that there are tons of large cities that report no hate crimes when we know there is a lot of hate going on particularly over the last four years, coinciding with the President of the United States. To listen to more of my interview with Attorney General Racine, go to our website, WUSA9.com.